Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. Today I'm going to give a comparison video between Samsung Galaxy M51 and OnePlus Nord. And there is also a surprise for the people who are thinking to buy OnePlus devices. Stay till the end and also subscribe to my channel. So let's start with this video. Myself Ishan Fazil and you're watching Mr. Technical Boss. This is Samsung Galaxy M51, the phone which has 7000 mAh battery and this is new mid-range from OnePlus, the OnePlus Nord. Let's talk about in-hand feel. There is no doubt that OnePlus Nord feels more premium because of glass bag finish whereas Galaxy M51 comes with plastic bag. But Samsung has its fingerprint scanner side mounted like in the case of Galaxy M31s and in Nord it has in-display fingerprint scanner which makes it to look modern but both fingerprint scanners are very fast. As I always say. If you are a kind of person who uses his phone with back cover then it will not matter if it is a glass bag or plastic bag. But comparing the weight of these phones, I would say Samsung Galaxy M51 which has that massive 7000 mAh battery doesn't feel that heavy. It weighs only 213 grams which is great considering this phone has 7000 mAh battery. And OnePlus Nord weighs only 185 grams which makes it very lightweight compared to M51. Let's see its physical overview, OnePlus Nord has skipped for 3.5mm headphone jack which I would say mid-range phones should have 3.5mm headphone jack because not everyone can afford Bluetooth headset and one thing that I like about OnePlus is alert slider it becomes very convenient to use your phone whereas Galaxy M51 gets proper 3.5mm headphone jack and most important it has triple slot which is 2 sim slot and 1 memory card slot but OnePlus has hybrid SIM slot which can have only one SIM and one SD card slot or dual SIM. Both the phones come with C-Type port and in-box fast charger. OnePlus Nord gets 30W wrap charger whereas Samsung Galaxy M51 has 25W fast charger. Now here we have M51 shines. Samsung Galaxy M51 has 7000mAh battery which is insane and OnePlus Nord has 4115mAh battery which is quite good. But as the backup goes, it is a clear win for Samsung Galaxy M51. Because of that instant 7000 mAh battery, it will last 3 days easily. Even after completing 3 days, there would be some amount of battery left. But whereas Nord goes, it will last you for almost 2 days only if you are not a heavy user. And if you are a heavy user, then it will last 1.5 days or 1 days easily. Do let me know in the comment section what you people think about these batteries. As of charging speed goes, Nord gets 70% charge in just 30 minutes. Whereas Samsung it takes 1 hour 50 minutes to charge from 10 to 100% which is quite good considering its battery size and 25W fast charger. Now let's talk about the display. Samsung Galaxy M51 comes in 6.7 inch Super AMOLED plus Full HD plus display with Gorilla Glass 3 protection. Whereas OnePlus Nord has 6.4 inch Fluid AMOLED Full HD plus 90Hz display with Gorilla Glass 3 protection. Both the displays are too good no doubt. You will enjoy watching YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime videos. Talking about Netflix, both the phones get L1 certification, so you can watch Netflix Amazon Prime videos in Full HD. But OnePlus have a slight advantage with that 90Hz refresh rate, which makes it very fluid to use and makes user interface very good. But in day-to-day -day use, you will not notice that Samsung don't have better refresh rate. Both the phones are very fluid to use but buying any one of these for media consumption will be a very good decision. And talking about media consumption. Samsung will provide more screen time because of that big battery. Now let's talk about the cameras. Both phones have quad camera setup. Samsung has 64 megapixel IMX682 main camera, then 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, then 2 5 megapixel macro and depth lens, and a single selfie camera. But whereas OnePlus goes, it has 48 megapixel main camera, then 8 megapixel ultra wide lens, then 5 megapixel depth lens, then 2 megapixel macro lens with dual selfie camera. Both phones camera are very capable, but Samsung's camera is better and has very good dynamic range and white balance. Here are some camera samples, do let me know in the comment section what you people think about these cameras and if you are enjoying this video, a subscribe would be appreciated.
See, both phones are very good. Even buying any one of these, you will not regret. Here is the starting price of both phones. If you see, both phones are priced same. As I said in the starting of video, that is a surprise for the people who are thinking of purchasing OnePlus devices. I have provided you with a link in the description. Tap on it. By opening that link, you can redeem the coupon and get 500 rupees off on any OnePlus device. If you are planning to buy Samsung Galaxy M51, I would say buy through Samsung website because there is 1000 rupees discount which will help you out and I will provide the link in the description. There is no doubt both phones are incredibly good. But if you are thinking of buying base model of any one of these smartphones, I would consider going with Samsung Galaxy M51 because M51's base model has 128GB storage whereas OnePlus has only 64GB. And if you are a dual sim user and you are thinking of buying a OnePlus base model, then you have to compromise between sim card and SD card, whereas Samsung has triple slot so you can have more space and also you can add your SD card then two sim card in it. At last I want to say if you are thinking of buying OnePlus Nord, better opt for higher variant which has better storage. But if you ask which will be value for money, I would say Samsung Galaxy M51. And do check out the coupon if you are planning to buy a OnePlus device. So that's it for now. Don't forget to hit the like button, share the video with your friends and please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload new tech videos. Thanks for watching myself Ishan Fazil and you are watching Mr. Technical Boss.